Okay, this is a little hack that I've done to my charge controller for the fencer. Um, I put a buffering relay in that I got from eBay for $1.20 delivered from China. You just have to be patient with these things. And what it does is it's connected to the automatic load disconnect right there. So instead of the charger being powered by the load solid state circuitry in the charge controller, it gets its power from battery through the relay. Now, the, uh, the beautiful part about this is it was cheap and the relay is rated at 10 amps. The solid state part's rated at 6 amps. And when I start getting a lot of faults in the line, those tracks, Apparently it's drawing too much. It faults out, turns off the fencer, and the deer come in. Um, not such a good thing. I had it completely bypassed for a while. I had no low voltage disconnect. That kept it working, but I had to take a walk today, repair all of the shorts on the line because it was just killing the battery. And I have to add water to the battery. It's a tired one. But this little, little whoopee, this relay is powered by the load disconnect circuit on, I'm trying to find my finger here, on this side, right here. And it just goes straight up to load. And then it's in series with the battery positive line, and that goes off to the charger, which is on the other side going click, click, click. And what's really nice is even from here, I could hear a short on the line if it was on this fence. Sound travels really well around here. I hear nothing. So we're good to go. Thank you to the folks at, um, oh, whoever made this thing, Morningstar, for that recommendation. They have a white paper on it. Uh, read it. It's a simple little hack. If you're really concerned, you can always put a... Uh, a fuse in there, but I don't think that's necessary. That's too bad that's life flight going overhead. Someone's having a bad day. Okay, well, that's it. Uh, I've been using Murphy to jumpstart the battery again, which is what you do. I'm hoping that it will pick up more charge in the next day, and then I will be adding water to the battery with some EDTA to clean the plates off. It had a tough winter. All right, thank you, Floyd.